guys, welcome back. I know it's been forever since I've uploaded a video on YouTube. Um, there's like literally no explanation to why I did it, but simply to take a break. And I've been focusing on, I'm still on my pages by the way, but I'm, I'm, I've been focusing a lot on my other social medias like TikTok, Instagram, that's pretty much it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And it's been going so well over on my TikTok. If you don't follow me, you guys should um, head over there and, you know, start following me. I love creating content there. But I was like, you know what? I haven't done a video in so long. A YouTube video, like a talk through step by step, like what I do, my new base routine, daily routine, um, or makeup look. Today we're going to be doing that. And let's just get started. Uh, it's just gonna be a uh, kind of like an updated. I'm just gonna name this video like an updated makeup routine. I would say, yeah. I'm just gonna let's just call it that. Okay, so I really kind of don't like the footage with the light on, so I'm just gonna keep it off and keep my vanity my vanity light on. So I'm going to be taking my You to the People Triple Peptide Serum. This right here. Sorry if I'm looking over there, but I don't have a monitor on, so I'm just going to base it off my mirror. So I'm looking at my mirror. <laughs> but I'm just going to now apply this all over, and then once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna take this little cork gadget. I just got from um, AOA, well, Shop Miss A, AOA Studio, and I'm just going to kind of plump the skin. And also, this serum is a plump, firm, and hydrating serum. So, oops. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, I wish it slide more. I feel like it's not working like that. No, it's like my skin's drying. It's something like something that's gonna slide on my face. Okay, let's just go on with our moisturizer. I'm gonna take this Versed Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Moisturizer, Vitamin C in Cloud Berry Oil. Sorry, not cold. And take some hopefully this can like do the little thing suction thing I think we can do this with the suction Ooh. oh my god that brightened my skin so well <gasps> oh my god that's so nice I love it yeah let's try it oh yeah much better the other one's not sliding I like the noise. Okay, and then obviously we have to apply on sunscreen. This is actually a tinted um, sunscreen from Earl Silver. So this is the Garts Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen um, SPF 35. By the way, I do not use any more like um, chemical sunscreens. I don't like them. They just break me out so bad and I hate, hate the white cast that it leaves on. So I'm not using those anymore as my daily face um, sunscreen. Oh, I feel so good. Look how good my skin looks. I've been taking well care of it. But I've noticed that I've gotten sunspots down here, which is so weird. Or not sunspots. There are, it's actually hyperpigmentation and by the way this is not my night routine I have a morning routine and a night routine and but those are way different and I'm gonna take the Mario Badescu facial spray with Ale and this has adaptogens and coconut water so it's really nice to have Ale on your skin also by the way have you guys tried let me put this on just like the the feeling and it also feels super cool on my skin so have you guys tried the those little like Olay popsicles that you put on in your fridge and then you let it sit there? Obviously, 
and then they turn into like popsicles and it's so super super cool you just massage everything around your face and it leaves your face looking so freaking nice and smooth like let me know if you guys have tried it and if it works because i really really want to try it and i want to see what the hype's about so so now for my lip balm i'm gonna take this undone beauty i don't know where they have this i think it's a new brand undone looks like this i love this this is bomb and i know this is a lip gloss but it works so well as a lip gloss lip balm or lip oil yeah these are called uh, lip oils i love it it's super moisturizing and it's not sticky whatsoever which i love i know we're in the era where lip oils are just like the shit right now so i'm glad i got that puppy just going with the brows i love taking i love doing like the lamination look it's my favorite thing to do at the current moment or forever because it's literally so good it makes my eyebrows look like 10 times better but i don't have a lot i have really dark eyebrows and i like them i love them i love the shape i don't get them done anymore because i have i've had horrible experiences so i just don't do it anymore okay so i got it and i got my soap by the way if you guys want to see a brow routine i will have it link in on my bio and also um i'll have like the soap and what i use down below too Okay, and what I also do is kind of lay them after they're ready. I use two spoolies to do my brows. I use this Benefit, or not Benefit, uh, Beauty Creations little applicator. Uh, it has like a flat side and also the spoolie side. So I really like this and it's very cheap. Uh, this one on the other hand is a little more expensive. I think it's like $18. Uh, but I love the long spoolie um, and then it's also from Smith's Cosmetic so I just think it's so much easier when it's like at the same time it lays them down at the same time so now I'm just going to conceal my brows I use this Kevin Aquan concealer and this is what I normally always do then bring it down this also acts as a like eye base then i like to take this anisa brush this is the ingold concealer brush and i'm just going to blend this away and when you get to the edges you kind of just want to blend them out seamlessly and then set set right away i'm just going to use a loose powder gonna do this eye really quick the difference right so now that we have our eyelids prepped i'm gonna go in and do my eyeshadow today we'll be taking the new kylie cosmetics the bronze palette this is such a beautiful like everyday palette i just feel like it's I haven't been talked about it like that much lately i'm gonna be taking peaches this shade right here on the outer corner i'm just going to apply this on the crease like i said i'm just gonna do a go-to eye look i'm also taking this bk beauty brush this is the 201 brush now i'm taking take notes and i'm gonna apply this on the outer corner So now I'll be taking this vanilla shade here, apply this on the eyelid. I also like how it doesn't dry my eyelid out. A lot of matte, like, bone shades do, and you can right away tell. 
All right, so I've been really into the baby wing. So I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner, Longwear Liquid Liner in the shade Big Truffle. Looks like this. And I just did, did it right here on the side. So I'm going to do it here now. Like that. All right, so for primer, I'm going to take the NYX Plump Right Back. Primer, it also acts like a serum. Just gonna run this all over my face. Alright guys, so let's finish the look. Um oh I'm gonna color correct, of course. I already color corrected on this side of my face. As you guys can see, a little bit of tint going on. But I'm going to be taking this Laura Mercier Secret uh, Camouflage Brighten It and Correct Duo. And it looks like this. And so I have a lot of discoloration down here. Right there. I have like this dark spot right here that I just recently got. And then I'm also going to color correct around my mouth. Because that's... Seriously, where I really have like really, really bad. Um, oh, I can't even speak. That's where I have a really bad discoloration. And then I'm gonna take this Huda Beauty Foundation. I know, right? What? Huda Beauty? Like you're gonna you're gonna apply your foundation as corrector? And yes, I am. I just feel like this is a very high high coverage, and it does help with what I have. Which is discoloration like that and then after this you can obviously go in with your concealer you don't even have to apply foundation but i'm going to be a little extra for today and i am going to apply some foundation so for today's foundation i've been really into this foundation from tom Ford beauty this is the traceless soft matte foundation and i know it's a super insanely expensive foundation i mean it's tom ford but i'm just gonna use a little bit on it like it really makes my skin look like freaking baby's ass when I have it on. Blend it with, with a beauty blender. Run your nose. All right, so now that we have our foundation on, I'm gonna take this Lancome All Over Concealer, and this is in shade 330. I haven't really seen how this um, concealer works alone. So I'm gonna give it a chance today. I just don't like the applicator. Uh, you guys will see what I mean. Look at this. It's like so hard to get out and to get in. It's really weird. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry for a little bit. <clears throat> While that dries, I'm going to go ahead and wait. <laughs> I have nothing to see, but wait. Ready, I'm going to go ahead and start to blend. Ooh. Okay, when I'm calm. I just do not like the packaging. Are you guys seeing this? Like, it's flawless. <gasps> I think I discovered a new concealer. I love to highlight with this ColourPop concealer. This is the Pretty Fresh Concealer in 45W. I'm gonna let this actually dry for, for a little more. But now I'm taking this YSL, or YSL, LYS, No Limit Harmony Contour Bronzing Sticks. Contour. 
All right, so now that we let that dry a little like longer, I'm just going to pinch my sponge and kind of just go in and blend, 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 blend. Blend until you like the brightness. Keep it all in this area don't let it come down but i'm just gonna go ahead and blend my contour before it dries off now taking my sephora brush i started off using this as a foundation brush but then i'm like wow it works amazing for cream contouring like to blend out your cream contour which is the sephora um pro foundation 56 brush All right, I hope you guys can see my makeup. <laughs> if not, I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty Blush, Cream Blush, Cheeks Out in Rose Latte. It's going to apply this on my cheekbones. So there is no way that you guys could have like seen the process with that much light on just gonna finish up now so the setting powder that i'm gonna use today is this um charlotte tilbury airbrush wait what is it airbrush flawless finish in the shade two and what i'm gonna do is just set underneath and i like to set it with my beauty blender little sponge here that we have going on so nice and I like how you can reuse these Now that's set, I'm just going to take my powder and set my whole entire face. I'm taking my Beauty Bakery powder and I'm just going to set under. This is gonna like help the under eye not crease, stay on for a longer time, and brighten the eye, the under eye. So now I'm just gonna contour. I'm gonna take my Mario bronzer. This is in the shade medium, and I'm just going to a little bit since we already cream contour we don't need as much anymore i want to try his new powders though like it's a must i'm gonna go get some when i go to sephora Of course, let's blush. I'm gonna use two blushes today. I'm gonna use the Persona Super Blush Blushes in the shade Terracotta and Bubble. But I'm gonna first go in with Terracotta and just apply this 
all over my cheeks. That, these are really pigmented, so a little tap goes a long way. That, and then of course, I'm gonna go in with bubble. I'm taking my makeup by Aria brush. I'm gonna apply this right on the top of my cheekbones, like that. For a nice, pretty, soft look. This. You can even like go up to your temples. Alright, so now I'm just gonna spray my face with the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna take this Nude Stick Sticks Mascara. This is the lash length. Mascara, and I'm just going to add one coat. I love them, this mascara. So fucking bomb. We're gonna do my lower lash line. And then my favorite lower lash line mascara has to be the MAC Giga Black Mascara. Okay, so now for highlights. Don't want to go too much. I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkles. Let's sparkle that shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. By the way, this is the Kaja Beauty, Kaja Beauty Viva Shine highlight. It's so freaking beautiful. I'm gonna take this Kosas. Hot liner, lip liner, and the shade Supreme. And I'm just going to outline my lips. This is really, really dark. And then obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna take this Patrick Ta Beauty. I took this Patrick Ta Monochromo. Monica Mullman Silk Lip Cream in this indie shade. She's confident. But I'm going to take the wet lip gloss. I'm just going to top it off. This looks really beautiful. Just like both combos are really pretty. But I'm going to take this Kosas in the shade Dip. I'm just going to... Mm. This just adds a little spice to the lip. So pretty. That's it, you guys. Let's just fix the hair. All right, guys. So that is it for my updated makeup routine that I do all the time. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I loved filming it. I know there was like no function with the lighting, but I think it looks great right now. So. Yeah, let me know on the comments down below what you guys want to see on my next video and I'll do it. But yeah, make sure to follow all my social medias. I'll have everything linked down below. Also, all the products that I used today in this look down below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.